Hey everybody, welcome to, welcome back to our speed shop. So we got a car show coming up in two days. So we need to get the Firebird ready for that. There ain't much I gotta do to do it. Cause it's, you know, like I've said before, it's not a full on show car. It's something I drive it, you know, on a regular basis. But I wanna clean the wheels, get some of the interior cleaned up and just uh, make it look a little better. So let's get into it. I think the only thing I, I want to do to get this ready for the car show tomorrow is just clean the wheels and probably wipe down the engine bay and stuff inside there because the main part that's been done on this thing and powder coated and all the nice stuff is actually under the hood so you don't get to see it. But uh can't put the door panels on yet because I don't have the power windows yet. But, you know, so at least get the wheels nice and clean and shined up. So I just got to move it out and uh, get to it. So they're perfect, nope, but they're a little shinier than they were. So I'm happy with that, and they're muddy now too. So <laughs> good job on that, making it muddy. Just wipe off some of the water that got sprayed on there. A little bit of mud. So I think we're ready for the show car, the car, <laughs> the car show. I think the next thing we're gonna do is uh, just wipe down the engine bay a little bit. Cause I'm gonna pop the hood. That actually is the best part of this car. As far as looking wise, because this guy did most work done to it. So everything under the engine, or in the engine bay and all the front pieces have been either painted or powder coated. So for a while I actually ran without the hood on just because it looks so much better. You know, and you don't get to see the work I'd put into it. Because, yeah, I mean, you look at it at the outside and it's rough, but, you know, it's being built. And it's been being built for eight years, you know. I'm on a budget, and this is what I do. So I take my time, make it right. So someday I will get to the body work on it. But I like to make sure I, I do function over form most of the time to where as long as it runs, drives, performs the way I like it to, then I'm happy. And for me, that's the show car quality. So let's get to wiping stuff down in here and clean it up a little bit. It's not too bad, actually. Just a little bit of dust. So it's, it's parked inside all the time. It's never been outside since I got it running. As far as, I mean, not in, you know, stored outside. It's always been in, stored inside. But let's get to wiping that down. This is what I'm going to do for the show tomorrow. I might change that because that's my... QR code to my YouTube channel. And this is a, a plaque that my buddy Bryant uh, printed out for me. And it actually linked to mymotorverse.com, which is a really cool site. It, you can go there and download the uh, app. And it links you to a bunch of other car people and shows and what, everything went around all around the country. So I'm going to be advertising for him for that, my YouTube channel. And then we're going to have a little just a small album because I didn't take a whole lot of pictures or make it get a whole lot of pictures made, but it basically takes you down to where it's almost drivable. And then in the back, it has QR codes for my motorverse, my YouTube channel or my, uh, for my, my motorverse, uh, page, um, YouTube and all that stuff on the back, back pages. So just figure out how to do something, you know, since it is a car show, I'll, advertise some things. So that's what I got going on for it. I'm, like I said, I might find something different for that. Maybe I'll just stick around the freaking fender, I don't know. Just some place where people can scan it. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much ready for it. You know, I, like I said, I'm not a show car person, but 
I like cars. I like, you know, hanging out with people who like cars. So that's why I'm going. I'm going to go hang out with people, meet some new people. Because I don't know a whole lot of people in Oklahoma. And how many times can I say people in one sentence? But anyways, so this is a, yeah, this is my prep for the car show. And uh, pretty much done. I don't have to do much more. So I just got to get packed up, get the shares in the trunk. And uh, yeah, head out there tomorrow at 8 a.m. Well, it starts at 8 a.m., so I'll probably leave here about 7-ish, maybe a little bit after 7. But uh, but when we get there, and then we'll start filming. All right, we're at the car show. Just doing a quick little photo op, but it's pretty glaring out here. Check this place out. It's pretty sweet. We have arrived. It's a pretty cool setup right here. All the vendors. Got here pretty early. Check that out later. What the heck is that? More and more cars coming in. I just happened to be the first one to get here. This is a group over here that was here first. Then I got here, and now they're all lining up off of me. That's just the way they're doing it. I think everybody's here now, so we're going to go take a walk around the whole thing. They were playing music in the background at the car show. So because of YouTube's monetization policies, I can't have any kind of uh, copyrighted music in the background. So I'm using something from I, the iMovie app. So I apologize ahead of time if you don't like it. and uh, But I hope you enjoy the video.
successful day, about seven hours worth, and everybody's already clearing out. Gave away the awards, everybody just got in and left, which is good, it means I can leave. But it was a good fucking, it was a fun car show. I enjoyed it. We are back from the car show, and I had a really good time. Met a lot of good people, a couple of Pontiac guys. I was the only first gen F body there. There was no Camaros, no other Firebirds. There was a third gen Firebird and a second gen uh, Trans Am uh, Bandit style. So overall, like I said, I had fun. You know, it was a long day though because I woke up unfortunately like two thirty because my dogs needed to go out to the to, you know go to the bathroom and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I've been up since two thirty. It is now, I don't know, 7 maybe, 6.37, I have no idea, but I'm beat, so I'm going to sleep really well tonight, but uh, I just wanted to finish up this video and uh, share that it was a really good time, and the car, you know, it's we had fun, and so my wife came down, and she hung out for a little bit, like I said, I got to meet some new people, so overall... I call that a success. All right, that'll finish it up for this uh, video on my car show experience. The first one I've been to in 32 years. The last one I went to was in 1992, and it was my S10. So I enjoyed myself, and like I said, you know, it was a good time for everybody. And like I said, I met a few people that were Pontiac people, which is cool. And a Pontiac actually won the best of shows, 1962 Pontiac Catalina. It was beautiful. So I did a short on it. You can check that out. So on... You know, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down there. Leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do, what I can do better, and subscribe while you're at it. So, until next time, I will talk to you later.